ready to race. We are ready for the final at the Dandy Riders Festival. We are here in San Rafael in France. Uh, everything is still open. Nobody knows who's going to win because today is the final and there are double points. I'm so happy to, uh, to receive you uh, in San Rafael with the sun, with the sea and uh, yeah, you are a very good uh, a good animation Uh, since uh, maybe uh, we did 65 yard build bikes, so 65 projects with bike builders, and uh, it's always now difficult to get new inspiration. And Brice is is really focused on the nice design from the 90s, and it is what we were looking for. And he has also a good knowledge in terms of uh, of uh, engines and mechanics. So yeah, it was, it was the good guy to build uh, a bike fitting with the Sultans. And the last point is that. To be good in this race, you have to also have the spirit matching the, the Sultans. And, uh, and Brice is, uh, is the perfect uh, character to go to, uh, to have fun, uh, party and, and, uh, and racing. Uh, today you had a really special rider. Uh, Tom Pages is a, a Yamaha racing uh, pilot for Yamaha and one of our most famous ambassadors. Uh, he's a really nice guy, he likes everything which is extreme and the Sultan of Sprint is, is an extreme game. Oh, well, it, was a, it was a good choice and we win, so that's nice. We are here with our special guest for today. You were a rider for the Yamaha today. The first time on a speed bike, how is it? Yeah, it was uh, such an amazing day. Uh, first time here, first time uh, with this type of event, so with a fast bike. And it was a bit scary at the, at the beginning. <laughs> and it was a bit, uh, a bit of like a, a disaster because uh, I was really doing like really bad start and uh, got better and then enjoyed it so much. Yeah. It was harder than a backflip? It was different than what I do every day pretty much. Uh, I wouldn't say it's harder, it's just different, you know. Um, but for sure, I thought it would be easier, easier for sure. What? The backflip? No, no, the this, sound. this. I yeah. thought it was like much more simple. I mean. It's, uh, I thought it was just like power and shifting gears and, but the start is important, the, the pressure with the other guy, um, you have uh, too much to think and my brain is not thinking fast so it's hard for me. <laughs> so after the first, the first bad run I was like uh, coming into the show like uh, much more comfortable and then it's um, I guess the, the rest of the, my run got better and uh, I think I did three more and I won so finally they have the, the title for the day and they are happy because it's it's good. All good. Congrats to Triumph, who is the winner of the factory class belt for one year. And of course, the title is forever. Uh, the second place for Yamaha Workhorse. And the third one for the BMW with Crown Motors. Did you enjoy the season? It was great for us. Uh, we, expected, uh, we expected fun. Uh, some really exciting races and exactly that's what we had. It was a tight schedule because the bikes were built for the last moment so we just got the bike ready for Monza 
Uh, Rolf had the bigger problems. We had the two bikes, the Spitfire and uh, and the Go Little Beep from Rolf Reich. And Rolf was the last minute uh, he got ready. So that was the first excitement to get the bikes in time. We started a little late, but uh, it was worth every minute to work on the bikes. They look great. So um, we liked the idea very much. And we knew with Amelie as a pilot and Danny and Cello as the constructors and customizers, it would be a super cool bike. Unfortunately, uh, it was it's very difficult to ride and so Amelie had her problems but she was really performing well and giving her best and we are not unhappy with the fourth place on this uh, bike but uh, we had a lot, a lot of uh, press reviews and good uh, comments on the bike and the rider. You, you had the third place in the World Factory class. Absolutely, we're happy with that. Of course, we expected more but that's racing. You always want to be number one, but uh, maybe next season we can add a little higher up. Something else you want to add about the Saltes of Sprint? So we like the, the way that is done and you can see the love, the details and the fun of the crew. It's racing, but just for a few seconds, that's serious. And all the rest is friends and family. And I think that spirits transports and transfers very well to everyone who sees it. And that's why people love it. Job, did you expect it to win? No, I I can't realize it now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think so, Seth will come here right in five minutes and just take away the, uh, the trophy. Say so, okay, it was a calculation failure or something. <laughs> you are a really good teacher. You know, like in Karate Kid. He's the best. Yeah. He's Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Miyagi. Yeah. Tommy Miyagi. Maybe I'm more. It's uh, a bad version of Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Yeah, really, a bad version. I'm maybe like a bit like Louis de Finney. I'm I'm a, a choleric guy. Ah, you idiot! You have to do it so and so and not. But I think they cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't cut it out. For the free class, big surprises because two rookies get the first two places of this championship. The first one with Macaco and Tommy. The second place goes to the Italian team, South Garage with their Ducati and Daniele Ghiselli as a rider. And an amazing third place for Philip Ludwig with his Hercules. Congrats everyone! You are an amazing dancer too. <laughs> you won a lot of points in the party bonds. There's bonus. Oh, uh, uh, I think we all like to party. That's, that's a part of this exciting thing. So we come together, 
to race, yeah? <laughs> but in the end, we, we party hard. to the end of this season of Salsa Salsa Spring Championship. It's been an amazing year. Thank you all because if this was as special as it was, it's your fault. <laughs> uh, now, if you want to excuse me, I will go surfing. Bye, see you next one. Can't be forgotten.